Okay, the consistency of skill and expertise, it goes by the name of Jeff Ray. The inconsistency of technology, <laughs> not a problem for us, sir. We're going to give them a forecast no, nonetheless. We just move right boldly go <laughs> and forward. Uh, okay, so let's start with satellite, and you can see this beautiful shot uh, from our window. This is looking Dallas, actually, not a window. It's a camera, but what a gorgeous view it is. The end of your Saturday. Now, as we take a look at the satellite, uh, we did have some morning clouds, even a little fog here or there, but oh, what a day of sunshine and temperatures got into the mid 50s. We're going to have about another day like it tomorrow too, by the way. Look at current temperatures. We're in the mid 50s in most locations. So let's talk about uh, first tomorrow morning, okay? You're going to wake up tomorrow morning and temperatures are going to start out in the mid 30s. So, you know, it's a, it's a winter morning. You'll need your jacket as you head out. But we'll have some sunshine. A few high clouds will come in later. We get about 10 degrees warmer. So we're talking about a high tomorrow on Super Bowl Sunday of 66 degrees. Very comfortable afternoon if you want to spend some time outdoors during the afternoon or maybe even grill for the party. Now, on Monday, we're going to even be warmer. We'll start warmer. We're going to be in the low 40s as we start the day. I think the cloud cover will be a little bit more. We'll probably start with some clouds, and then the clouds really start to thicken up as we get into the afternoon. But we're, we're forecasting a high of 71 degrees on Monday. So this is like a early spring day. Now, what happens with those clouds coming in is that as we get into Monday night, and maybe as soon as the evening, we start seeing some rain. There could be some thunderstorms in the mix. We're not expecting severe weather on Monday in the overnight hours, but getting into the Tuesday morning commute, the Tuesday morning commute is going to have some rain. So be ready for that. It is going to be a warm day because after the morning rain with some thunderstorms, we end up with the sun coming out and the temperatures get into the mid 70s. Now we got another cold front coming in, and this is going to happen on Wednesday. Okay, so we get into Wednesday, and we got temperatures in the in the mid 70s again. So this is going to be another warm day. And as we get into Wednesday night, another front approaches, and I think this one actually could have some strong thunderstorms. So again, this is Wednesday night, and we're getting into Thursday morning, but it's in the overnight hours where this cold front comes through and gives us some thunderstorms. Wednesday night and Thursday, I think it's gone by the morning. So we wake up and we'll probably have the sun starting to break out. But it's going to be cold and it's going to be windy. So we're going to go from the mid 70s. On Thursday, I'm forecasting a high of 49 degrees. So we're going to be in the 40s Thursday afternoon. And on top of that, we'll probably have a northwest wind. I'm sorry, I'm running out of space here. About 20 to 30 miles an hour. So it is going to be windy. And then by the time we get to Friday morning, on Friday morning, I'm forecasting a low of 29 degrees. So we're going to be right back to that winter cold morning by the time we get to the end of the week. So again, Monday heading into Valentine's Day, in the overnight hours, we're going to have some rain and some thunderstorms, and it's going to be around Tuesday morning. It'll be a very windy day on Tuesday, but we're talking about temperatures in the 70s on Valentine's Day and another 70-degree day before we get these storms Wednesday night into Thursday. And again, we're talking about that 29 degrees, Steve. We're back to some winter cold by the end of the work week. Thank you, sir. Bill